Now, at the first lesson, it's very important that the teacher has put the clarinet together. Um, I'll show you the reason why now as I take the clarinet apart. Equally, at the end of the first lesson, the teacher should take the clarinet apart to show the student the danger of mashing these two keys together. The correct way to hold the clarinet when you're either assembling it or taking it apart is to put your hand here, thumb here, these fingers here, so you can't bend any keys, and you shake hands with the lower joint exactly there. Now I can't mash those, what's called the correspondence key, I can't mash them together at all. So I gently take the clarinet apart like that. I put that one down now. I take the barrel off the same way. I'm still holding the upper joint in a, a very careful position. I take off the ligature, which holds the reed on. Take off the reed, take off the mouthpiece, and the barrel. Uh, some clarinet cases leave, as mine does, leave the bell on, but if you're taking the bell off, it's important not to mash these keys as well. We put our thumb there, and pretty firm shake, handshake with the clarinet, we can take off the bottom joint. So putting the clarinet together, which is very important to teach the student, because the teacher won't be there next time this happens, we, we go in reverse. Thumb there, hold the clarinet firmly, and the bell goes on like that. Next joint. If you remember how to hold it, the thumb goes there, fingers go there. By doing this with this finger, I'm pushing this key down, which raises this correspondence key so that it can't get bent accidentally by pressing against the lower bit. There we are, perfectly lined up. The barrel goes on, and the mouthpiece. Now, putting on the reed is slightly more tricky. The reed goes on like this, perfectly in line with the table. And we have to, I, I usually hold it with my thumb like this, we have to try and line it up so that it's perfectly in line with the table of the mouthpiece, and that the tip of the reed is just below the black bit at the tip of the mouthpiece. When we've got that position, we take our ligature, slide it over, still keeping the reed in position, and tighten it up. Ready to go. So, thank you for watching. Um, for more videos and information, you can visit the RIAM Teaching and Learning Network website. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>